Hello, blessed and beloved jewelry channel. Today I'm going to model earrings, then a chain bracelet, and then a ring in Blender 4.3. I'm going to need these 3D jewelry models for an other upcoming tutorial. My name is Damien. Let's get to it. Let's go to front view, add mesh lane. Go to edit mode, delete these vertices. Now let's start control, left mouse, click, extrude, 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 extrude. On the global coordinates for the first and last vertex, X to zero, then select everything. Let's go at zero on the Y axis. Go to modifiers, add a screw modifier. Do a control A, all transforms. Go at 80 steps, add a subdivision surface modifier, level three. Call this earrings shape projector. Save and be happy. Change the mat cap here because it looks pretty. Now make a copy, shift D, enter. Remove the modifiers. Let's call this earrings solid. Select everything. Now about the size on the Z scale. I want the earrings to be 25 millimeters. Now take the earring solid. Go to edit mode, side view. Move this back minus one millimeter. Extrude on the y-axis over two millimeters. Select everything with A. Take the shear tool and shear it on the y-axis by minus 0 0.3 offset. Then move slightly back on the x-axis one millimeter. Exit edit mode. Add a deform shrink wrap modifier. The target is the ring shape projector here. Now add a solidify modifier offset zero. Do a control A all transforms. Thickness 1.6 millimeters. Then add a bevel modifier and a subdivision surface modifier level three. Make a local view. Go to top view. Add an empty plane axis. Call this empty multiplier. Location zero. Take the earring solid, add an array modifier from the empty multiplier object offset. Take the empty multiplier, play with the Z rotation. I like it at 30 degrees. Go back to the solid. The count is 360 degrees divided by your Z angle, minus 30 degrees. We get this very aesthetic shape. Save and be happy. Now go back to general view, take the projector, run view, make a copy on the Z axis scale, go to edit mode, X-rays, take this vertex, proportional editing, grab on the Z axis, adapt so that you join all the top parts like this, adapt the shape as you want. I'm going to make this a bit smoother, then select everything, copy on the Z axis, in edit mode, scale on the Z axis by minus one to invert it. Take this vertex, shift S cursor to select it, work from the 3D cursor, keep adapting and scale. So we nicely close the bottom part. In the screw modifier for the normals, calculate order like this, exit edit mode, call this earrings, shape joins. If you want, add a small detail here and there like this. Save and be happy. Now add mesh Taurus 60, 30, 1.5.5 to the view. Adapt it here. Copy it on the Z axis. Adapt down here. At the top, go to edit mode. Select the top vertex. Proportional editing. Scale. Readapt the shape like this. Now side view. Add Bezier curve to the view. Edit mode, resolution 45, geometry round depth 0.5, resolution 21, bell caps, create the earring hook, just like this. Now at the bottom, add mesh UV sphere, eight segments, eight rings, radius four millimeters. Go to edit mode, faces, poke faces, then twist to quads, get a nice gem shape. Now take the torus, copy it on the Z axis, rotate it 
90 degrees, check its position, go to edit mode, top view, cursor to selected, add circle, adapt the size, put it in the metal, close it with F, extrude on the Z axis, come down here, check the face orientations, select, flip, exit edit mode, go to front view, add mesh circle to the view, radius 0.5, Go to edit mode, minus 0 0.9, and once more, exit edit mode, control A, all transforms, add a screw modifier on the Z axis, 60 steps, adapt the size as you wish, solder it here, take the gem, readapt its position, readapt the wire ending, cursor to selected, exit edit mode, add mesh sphere, 80 segments, 40 rings, 2 millimeters, Adapt the position, take this hook, copy it, call it hook drill, remove the torus from the drill, do a solidify modifier, offset 1, make it thicker, point 0.1, generate a remesh, take the gem, add a boolean difference fast from the hook drill, hide the drill, check the details, don't forget to shade smooth on your metal objects, don't forget to apply materials and name them accordingly. Copy the gold materials to all your metal objects, link materials, so that we can export our earrings with material separation. Select everything, make a copy, convert to mesh, make a Ctrl J to join to finish your pair of earrings. Save and be happy.